Hi, I'm Randy Robinson. This is Life Today TV, and this is a real bonus interview because Matt and Lauren Chandler were on Life Today, but you really didn't get to hear as much from Lauren as you should have. There's some things you don't know about her, so she's sitting down with me. Hi, Lauren. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you doing, Randy? I am good. You know what? I didn't know this until very recently, mm -hmm. as in a few hours ago. Yeah. <laughs> you are a musician, a singer, songwriter. Yes, I am. A worship leader. Yep. Worship, and if, if people that don't go to the Village Church wouldn't know that. So right. Because people that just see you on TV, you don't get to talk about it. Right. So tell me how you got into doing this EP and yeah. the worship. and Absolutely. Fill me in on all that. That's uh, exciting. Music's always been a big part of my life, and it's always been something that I've loved doing. Um, my dad, from when we were little, my brother and I would you know, be in the bathtub together. My dad would come bring up his guitar and serenade us in the bathtub. And so I've always had this love for music and the Lord just has kind of shaped it um, uh, since then for the past 33 years um, to be more um, focused on Him and writing songs about Him and to Him. And, um, and so for the first, it's actually been a very long journey because I've wanted to record my own project probably since I was like, uh, my mid-twenties, and so nearly a decade later, um, the Lord finally lays some things out for me, and I'm able to, to do this, and it honestly came in at a better time that I think my heart could handle um, undertaking a project like this, but uh, I had some songs I'd been working on for five to ten years, and um, our friends Shane and Shane, the recording oh, yeah. artists, oh, yeah. um, have a studio, and I called them and said, would y'all ever consider producing a record for me. And, um, and then when I called them, it was in the fall and talked to Shane Everett. He was like, we would love that. It's busy right now, but you know, I'll get back to you in the spring. And so the, uh, probably that January, February, he calls me. He's like, Hey, do you, are you still interested? And, um, I said, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, um, I met up with, uh, Shane Bernard's wife, Bethany, mm -hmm. who is also known as Bethany Dillon, um, a Christian her, her. music yep. artist, mm -hmm. um, incredible songwriter, singer, um, worship leader in her own right. And um, she and I got together and we just kind of worked on a few songs that I had and then got into the studio um, for just kind of a firm up songs day. And um, Shane Bernard sat down with me and and he shaped up some of the songs. And then he had this one song in particular. He was like, uh, we needed one more song to finish out the EP. And he said, there's a song that kind of been writing and working on and was birthed out of one of my friend's um, mother's battle with cancer. And um, he played it for me. And um, I knew the first second, almost the first word that was out of his mouth that I, I wanted to include it on the, mm. the EP. And the song is out of um, the book of Job, and it's called, Though You Slay Me. Mm. And so it's this whole idea of, God, though you slay me, yet I will praise you. Though you take from me, I will bless your name. Though you ruin me, yet I will worship. Um, sing a song to the one who's all I need. And, you know, I just walked this road with my husband of cancer, of yeah. chemo and radiation, and not knowing how much longer I would have him. And so been living in a though you slay me season of Lord, though you might take what is most precious to me right now, I will praise you because I know you will sustain me that um, I would know you and make you known um, that though you would take my husband from me, you know, that you would allow him to be taken from me. I would know that there must be something good that you want to do in this because I know he doesn't do anything. He does not willingly afflict the children of man, lamentations. And so um, th that, that song wasn't finished. And so Shane was like, well, you just kind of sit with this song. It needs a second verse. And so um, I wrote the second verse for it. Um, you know, my heart and flesh may fail, the earth below get, give way, but with my eyes, I'll see the Lord um, high and lifted on that day, behold the lamb that was slain, and I'll know every tear was worth it all. Mm. Um, so the I idea of we've got the right now, and it's painful, and, and we know that the Lord's going to redeem uh, even in the pain and do something even in the pain. Uh, 
And it's okay to cry right now. It's okay to have tears. It's okay to mourn and to grieve. Um, but also having an eye to the future of what he's going to do and what we'll see Jesus exalted, the one who has suffered just like we have suffered. And he knows our pain and he's cried with us and for us um, to see him high and lifted up and wiping away our tears and, um, and knowing that day we'll see how it was worth it to us then. When you were going through the hardest times, the darkest mm -hmm. times, the loneliest times maybe, was it hard for you to, to praise, to sing? You know, um, it never was. Um, and I cannot claim that as something that I did or that I could um, take credit for. Um, you know, there were, I'm just trying to think back, there were definitely nights though that I, I wasn't sure, you know, of yeah. how long would this last? And, and there was sadness and there was grief, but there still was um, an ability to praise him. And I mm -hmm. think, honestly, um, it was listening to praise and worship music that kind of kept my heart in that place yeah. of, Comfort. yeah, being comforted and protected and sure. kept and sustained um, for Matt and me. He was listening to it all the time and much to my frustration sometimes where I'd be like, take those earbuds out and enter in with us. Oh. Um, but then even personally, just listening to songs that just gave me great comfort. Mm -hmm. It was a good reminder for me. Mm -hmm. Is that, did some of that come out in the other songs other than the one you discussed? Yes, um, there's another song and it's the title track song. It's called The Narrow Place, Already But Not Yet. So the narrow place is kind of this Puritan idea of just that thin space between now and then. And so um, kind of we live in that thin space of, you know, um, Christ has come, he has died, he has risen, he is reigning now, but all still not right in the world. Mm -hmm. Like he has not come to finally defeat um, our right. enemy and, and death for good. Mm -hmm. You know, there's still death, there's still suffering, mm -hmm. there's still sin, rampant. And so we're living in that in between space and I was very much feeling that thin space sure. going through this trial sure. of, okay God, you're sustaining me, but I'm mad at cancer and I'm mad at sin and I, it's not right. This is not how you've made it. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's this groaning of us waiting for him to return and having hope in that. Mm -hmm. And th that brings comfort in that narrow place for us. Cool, are we gonna hear more from you? I hope so. <laughs> I'm, I know you're working on a book. I'm working on a book, yeah, but yes. But you're working on some music as well? I am, I would love to do a more corporate worship yeah. project. Yeah. Um, yeah. That would. That's my heartbeat. Cool. Well, for now, we'll just listen to what you've got. If somebody wants to go get it, can they go download it somewhere? Buy iTunes. It it's iTunes. On it's on iTunes. iTunes. I believe it's on Amazon also. Cool. It's called The Narrow Place. And then um, I think laurenchandler.com, you can find a link to it there too. Awesome. And probably from the thevillagechurch.net as well. No, I don't no. think on there. No, uh -uh. we got to talk stuff. to Matt. We got to get Matt to come on. And, you know, it's you know, okay. Okay, I'm teasing. No. We'll find it. We can get it out there. Check it out. Uh, and do watch Matt and Lauren when they're on Life Today. It's at lifetoday.org. Thank you for sitting down and sharing and letting us get to see a side of you that we, we hadn't seen here at Life yeah. Today. Well, thanks for 